students i hope you are fine okay let's start our topic as you know that our topic is correlateral prism and pyramid so first thing that uh, part a draw your table to investigate the relationship between face edge vortices of different prism but before this we are just study about pyramids now let's see here we will draw the first prism is triangular prism the other one is cuboid cube cylinder trapezium and pentagonal prisms so we will draw these shapes and after that you will draw a table that show how many faces this will have how many edges this will have how many vertices this will have the first shape now here it's a triangular prism this will have how many faces one two three four five so this will have five faces how many edges three are here three are there and three are in between this so there are nine edges now how many vertices there are six vertices so we can draw this table and write all these things now second part is use what you find out to write down the number of faces edges and vertices you would expect to find 50 sided shape is prism if you have 50 side shape prism so how many edges vertices and faces you should have first thing any sided let's suppose he just gave us 50 sided so we must add two more to get the faces we just multiply the same number 50 sides multiply by three so that is your edges and if you double this that is your vertices here are the answer now new topic is platonic so we just learned this investigation then that is our last topic what is regular polyhedra that is a 3d shape where all faces are same as 2d regular shape and tetrahedron is also a 3d shape it's a regular 3d shape with a four equilateral triangle equilateral triangle has all side must be same so let's talk about tetrahedron so it's also he's talking about this shape this is an equilateral triangle and all sides should be same there are four equilateral triangles so if you color whole with the same color so what is the smallest number of color needed so that no face is next to the face of the same color so after that we need four colors okay to do this now what is octahedron if we are talking about octahedron so what we will do here the same thing we will do but we know that it's already one uh, we just color one side full uh, so we just need three more color to finish this here are the answer